Hi, I'm District Attorney Summer Stephan. Thank you for joining me for this week's DA News. The team at the DA's office has been very busy. Uh, as you know, we've been fighting the EDD fraud across the state. This is where prisoners at the state prison are abusing the system by defrauding the state out of millions of dollars of EDD funds that should go to families and people who need it. In San Diego, we set up a team to fight this and bring accountability. We charge nine individuals with EDD fraud at the estimate of $166,000. We worked with the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, their investigators, to put together the case with our economic fraud team. And it will go through the court system. At the same time, we continue to investigate other cases. We also won a big battle in the Los Angeles Superior Court. There was an injustice that was happening where an individual named Rhett Nelson came to San Diego from Utah and he robbed with a firearm, armed robbery of five different convenience stores across San Diego. And then he made his way to Los Angeles where the evidence shows that he murdered and executed two innocent people one a skateboarder just with his friends and the other one an off-duty deputy sheriff just getting some food at Jack in the Box. It was customary for us to give jurisdiction to the county that has the murders and that's what we did with the assumption that the law would be followed. Unfortunately, the newly elected district attorney of Los Angeles, George Gascon, told his deputy district attorneys, according to his new policies, to go to court and dismiss the gun allegations and the double murder allegations. This was a violation of victims' rights and of the laws that we have. We took action and we went to court to bring back our San Diego cases because I refuse to be an unwilling participant in anything that violates victims' rights and violates the Constitution and the laws. We won that battle, but sadly, it appears that those policies continue in Los Angeles. We had a major case uh, that terrified and tormented San Diego County against John Guerrero. This was the case where Guerrero had murdered four individuals and assaulted nine others. They were murdered in a vicious way. And uh, Mr. Guerrero had indicated signs of mental illness. We went through this case, worked with the victim's families, and in the conclusion, Mr. Guerrero stood convicted of the crimes and was sentenced to multiple terms of life without the possibility of parole. And that's a sigh of relief for victims' families and for San Diego. Remember, we're here for you. Just uh, call on us if we can do anything to help you, and we will talk to you next week.